Hey, good afternoon, guys. We just finished up the fleet and this uh, track up pretty good. Spent about a uh, oh, two and a half hours on the John Deere 330G skid loader. This one here needs the cab clean yet. Yeah, it looks pretty like a brand new one. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Dwayne. Welcome. We're just cleaning up some equipment. Hey, Ralph. Welcome. I'm backing in over here. We have some really high winds, so you cannot... You cannot uh, even stand outside. Finish the windows up and I got that skid loader looking like a brand new one. This is the John Deere 4250 power ship. Got the hood all nice and shiny. I'm gonna take you in and skip her back in here a minute. Get out of the sunlight. It is crazy windy out there today. Hey, welcome. close she looks really good have to put up the ceiling fans when the wife gets home we need help is that what it is uh, get these windows clean cleaned up a little bit all right, it's going to get really windy out here. I want to get over to the skid loader. This thing here, I... Hey, thanks, Dwayne. This thing here, I did inside and outside, and it's greased. Got to finish the window. Smells good in here. We clean the uh, air filters, the air conditioning vents. This thing has on it how many hours now? 254.9 hours. It's got a lot of life in it yet. Not much going on today other than I was just cleaning equipment, get everything nice and uh, shiny and I like the older style John Deere's. I mean they're all good. Just a lot less uh, electronics and stuff. Where's Dan at? I got my boy over there, he's working. <laughs> set a bell in there for me. I don't know if you can see over there or not, but the ground's drying up nice. I was down uh, in the lower field over here. We have one wet spot. How's the weather out there, Dan? Yeah, we're almost ready, uh, Scotty. You can send some up here too, Ralph. Anyway, I tried to get this thing all cleaned up. It's hard. It had a rough winter. Took the floor mat out.
windy 57 i don't know what the temperature is it's pretty nice out it is windy Southern Catfish King, welcome. We're putting uh, these bales out in the 75 in, Tennis in Tennessee. You got any high winds down there? We're going to run into some wind here. We're going to go see what our buddy's doing over here. Died down for a little bit. You can see the wind's really coming through here. Oh, we used to forecast up stinks. You can handle stink. <laughs> but that's a pretty good bail then. Dan says hi. Now why are you throwing it back here? Uh, we're gonna shoot for uh, April the 15th. It all depends on the weather again. some of that air off. We don't need that much coming through here. Try some feet out. So this is a uh, Trinic cow and uh, beef calf so they really like it. I decided to put a barrel in here That's enough. They can uh, eat at that bale. You can hear the wind, can't you guys? Stop that over here. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Wayne. Hey. I don't know how we're gonna feed the ones down in the blower barn there. Well, you dump the feet and it's going to blow away. Usually we have this curtain up, but uh, it would just, I mean, it's coming through here like you wouldn't believe. The barn's nice and dry. I worked on a farm uh, that has black Angus and Jersey's Texas Longhorns. All right, I, that's not gonna. Hey, good afternoon, Ken. I'm gonna say hi to Ken. Hi, Ken. We're trying to wait for the winds to calm down a little, but we can't even get our feet out, blow away. How's the pitchfork? Mm, good. Who gave you that pitchfork? Larry. Larry, who? Keener. Keener. Larry Keener. Pennsylvania, Southern uh, Catfish King, Pennsylvania. You never know what's going to happen here. <laughs> Do it the old way and <laughs> shovel. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Dan. <laughs> the cattle are not starving yet. Tell them we're all standing in our, our steer barn. We're all standing in the steer barn. What's coming? <laughs> <is> madman. 
Dan thinks we can shovel the feed. I already did that, and that's not work. Tell him, tell him we're forking this feed here. We're forking this. Pitch work right here. <laughs> What do you think I did? Did you sit in the skin loader yet and see how nice it is? No. Are you going to? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Tell me how. I used some uh, cleaner in there too. It should smell really nice. Yeah. What's your favorite song about farmers? <laughs> it's not too cold. that fork doesn't have my name on it. <laughs> yeah, Larry Keener uh, brought that over for him. I gotta say, I don't know what they said, we're probably getting like 40 a mile an hour gust. Did you clean your boots off? Yeah, I'm just setting them up. Does it smell nice in there? Yeah. John Deere was up here to see if we uh, needed anything today. I was cleaning it from uh, deer country. I got the floor pretty clean. You see it down there? Yeah. There's dirt. There's barely any dirt down there. I pulled the mat out, power washed it. The mat comes out. Yeah, down there. That was filthy. Larry should have broken it in the floor. <laughs> No, Larry dropped it off and took off quick. He didn't want to use it no more. 65 and windy in uh, Chambersburg, PA. Yeah, it says about 65 here. Cut you off again? Yeah, the winds are knocking it off. Hey, good evening, Charles. Thanks, Charlie. Dad, do you know what this button here does? That's uh, go uh, two speed. Hey, thanks for stopping. I live in Mannheim Township for 22 years. How's the weather in Mannheim? Other than high winds. Cold in the UK? That's the born in the UK. No, that's for the two speed over there. I live in Ohio right now. And you're not too far from Dan, probably. Well, let's keep going here. We gotta keep moving. Just don't go out and get in the mud right away when the first day rains. I won't. How was your school day? Okay. Tell tell Dan you're learning how to play bass. What? What instrument are you playing? Oh, the bass. That's good. That's good. There's Fort Guy 2001. Say hi to him. Ford's always number one, right? Yeah. <laughs> Dan said he played the drums. I was going to play the drums. <laughs> the kind of loud I did the piano, Dan, when I was younger. I don't know why, but I can't wait for it to be 100 Fahrenheit outside. Yeah, I like the heat. You always can get away from the heat, but you can never get away from the cold. <laughs> yeah, we're having a great day. We're just cleaning up equipment, trying to stay out of the wind. I'm out of the wind. Yeah. Clean up some stuff here. We got to go put our power washer away and stuff. So, that tank up there should be filled up again. Maybe you can have a jam uh, session with your son. <laughs> What's that? We can play, play the instruments together. <laughs> what color is the soil? Uh, Brown, and then we have a little red tinnish in different spots, but a lot of the lower ground is all like what we call river or ground. What's your favorite country song? Dwayne wants to know. I have two. 
Well, he, this is your most favorite one. National Harvester. How's the song go? Do you remember? Kind of. Sing with just a little bit of it. International. I'm a son of a third generation farmer. Married ten years to the farmer's daughter. <laughs> boys in the county forage. Oh, come on. I keep messing that part up for some reason. Okay, what was your other song favorite one? Kick the dust up, yeah, that's what I like how it's Kick the dust up, kick it up. All right, bud. Mom's going to be home here shortly. You you fill the water tanks up? Yep. Run Bobcat. We had uh, three different Bobcat models here. They're good machines. I... I had uh, a couple New Hollands. I bought a couple New Hollands, and then this is my first deer here. I really like it. We had no problem with it. It's a uh, easy to see out of the cab. And... Got backup camera. Got roof. Got mirror up there. Yeah, we can't play any country music when we're making videos because. Uh, all these laws and regulations and stuff, I guess, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah the, this has the hand pilots, no foot control, so. Hey, Dan, have a great evening. There is foot gas here. Buy scrapple, Ralph says. Let's go up and check that tank up there and. Yeah, you gotta. There's just so many different crazy lulls anymore. He would like you to drive it. You wanna drive it? Where? Just somewhere. No, it's not. We gotta get feed. Um, let's. Um, can you switch to take the bucket off, put the forks on, and then we'll bring it, we'll cut the plastic off that one? So he's gotta remove the bucket and um, set the bucket over to the side a little bit and then see if we get the forks and then you're gonna grab the, the white bale. There's a knife in there. Okay, give me a knife. Then you can flip it one. So that one right there? Yeah. So you're just gonna take the bucket and set it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Ralph, uh, I know it was cold, I mean, and snow up north, and... This one has the backup camera. I love that wind. This has the uh, reverser, reverse fan in it, which is really nice, especially when you're in dusty conditions.
the channel, your channel. Flip it. Bale's ready to go out to the feedlot. Set it in front of that one for now. In front of that one. I wanted to, I just wanted to try out a little bit. Yeah, and it has the uh, I pattern, I think I pattern and F pattern and H pattern, I'm not sure. No foot controls. The New Holland, the big L2 that we had, he had no foot controls. And that he couldn't run that. This one here, you can run. This one's bigger. Let's get out of the wind. They said, great job. You like that one a little better than New Holland? Yeah. Easier to operate. 
All right, guys. Well, not much going on here today other than cleaning up. And uh, we're going to finish feeding up. It's just high winds. You can't really hear us, what we're saying. So. <sighs> Cattle, they don't mind it out there. Andrew said, um, good job. I love driving the skids here. Have you talked to Andy lately? Uh, just the other day, uh, when he told me it was snowing. So. Alright guys, thanks for stopping and, uh, we'll get back at you a little later on and we just wanted to, uh, Stop in and say hi to everybody. Have a great evening, guys. We'll talk to you later. I'm going to say bye to you guys. Bye, guys. Tired. Going to the ice cream store soon. That sounds great, Andrew. Buy me one. <laughs>